Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you along for a what I eat in a day um, carnivore. I don't know exactly what all I'm gonna eat today yet. I don't have that planned out other than dinner because I have to thaw out the meat for that. Um, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, I do think that I'm gonna probably make some electrolyte gummies because I've been craving gummies. That's one of my favorite candies anyway. Um, and I have figured out a way to do that and still remain carnivore, so I think that's fantastic and I wanna share that with you. We have started entering into early fall here where we live, and so the weather has been just absolutely gorgeous. Um, Tommy has been doing some projects out in the yard, so we split our hostas up. We took like five hosta plants and got probably about 45 hostas out of them. Um, so we planted those kind of where the pool deck was, um, and I'll show you all of that. But let's go ahead and get started. It is just after 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I've been doing a little bit of work this morning. I've got a work meeting here in a little bit, but I want to eat breakfast first. I've taken my meds because I have to take them so long before I eat, and then I can eat. So, <laughs> But needless to say, I'm hungry. So let's go make breakfast. All right, so I decided that I'm going to have some leftovers. A few days ago, I made some beef oxtail in my Instant Pot and it made a delicious broth. Um, I ate all the oxtail already, unfortunately, because it was delicious. Um, Tommy and Kaylin, neither one liked it. That's fine, that's more for me. Um, but it made a really good broth that we had for leftovers. Um, and so I took leftover smoked pork from um, Labor Day weekend and I decided to put that in there and heat it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. While that's doing that, I'm gonna peel two soft boiled eggs. I did this meal the other day and it reminded me so much of ramen because um, I did put the two eggs in it as well. It gave me that good hearty broth and the fattiness and the meat in that is just really good. Um, so I'm gonna do that again and then just add a little bit of salt and pepper on top of the eggs once they go into the broth. I decided to start batch cooking my boiled eggs just because it makes it easier to have them for whenever I'm wanting them. Makes life a lot easier. So typically I batch cook about 12 of them at a time. So I have six meals worth of boiled eggs. Then I just cut them in half. And so soft boiled, the yolk is still soft in the middle. All right, and then we got the broth. It's steaming. And then I just set the eggs down in the broth. And add a little bit of pepper to the eggs themselves, which is pre preference. And then just a little bit of salt to the eggs because the broth is fairly salty, but I like to salt my eggs. But that's 
breakfast ramen very simple very easy um, using some leftovers out of the fridge so they don't go bad and I don't waste food um, but I'll be back when I have my next meal um, I will see you soon All right, so it's lunchtime. I am back. Um, it's been a busy work day, as usual. <laughs> so before lunch, it's just gonna be a simple lunch, one I have almost every day, just because I like it that much. Um, but I am going to make the electrolyte gummies. Um, I found this recipe, it works great, it's really easy. Um, it takes a packet of the Element electrolytes that I use. I like the watermelon. Um, it reminds me of a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Um, it's sweetened with stevia so if you're carnivore and can't use any type of sweeteners I understand that. Um, it doesn't bother me. I drink my watermelon electrolytes so I don't have a problem with it. Um, but that's what I'm going to use as flavoring. So the only other things you need for this recipe are beef gelatin. I get the grass-fed beef gelatin. Um, I don't keep it in the bag because it doesn't seal as well as an airtight container and it keeps fresher and keeps longer. Um, I use these little like quarter sheet pans. Um, they fit in my refrigerator. I can't put a regular sheet pan or even a half sheet pan into my refrigerator. It doesn't fit. Um, and then I got these um, like candy molds on Amazon. I'll come around there. Um, so they look like little donuts, but that way you can pop out your gummies after they've set. I did use these previously. Um, they are about two inches big. They were a little big for my personal taste. I wanted something a little bit smaller. Um, that way I'm not eating as much at a time um, and didn't feel as overwhelmed by the size um, and it felt more like a candy than a supplement. So for this recipe the first thing you do is you put two cups of water in the microwave or on the stove and get it to boiling. And then you need five tablespoons of gelatin. and your element electrolyte packs. You need two of those. And you start together the best you can. And then I prefer to add the gelatin to the boiling water. Pour it into a bowl so that I have room to stir it. Make sure that's good and mixed. Oh. 
now that it's mixed, I'm going to put it back in that measuring cup because it does have a pour spout. That'll make it easier for pouring into the molds. And then I like to line the molds just right on top of this baking sheet because it makes it firm. It's not letting me pour. I have these handy droppers that came with it too. My first time using these molds, so part of the learning process, I say. Another news, we got our new security system up and running. And it's fantastic. It thinks that every bug is a person, and that's kind of funny to watch. But it is a lot more accurate. It picks up and detects and alerts um, where it should. So from the actual edge of the camera, not from like right in front of my house. <laughs> um, we are much happier with the quality and just overall product so far. I'm going to give it a little more time before I do a full review on my channel. But so far we like it. I think these little molds look like mini donuts. And that's comical to me. I'm also wanting to get this recipe down because over the next few weeks I've got four different conferences scheduled and having something like this that I can take with me would be awesome as an option for snacks and keeping my electrolytes up because one of the conferences you can't take drinks into the venue and I don't know about you but I love my simple modern large 40 ounce cup and I'm on number three so far today <laughs> I've already refilled it, so. Seeing that you have to fill this with a dropper, the Amazon picture shows um, things made out of chocolate with this. I wanna know how that works because that would be have to be difficult with a dropper because your chocolate would have to be very liquidy. Or you'd have to figure out how to get it in these tiny little crevices without making a complete mess. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. The only downside to this recipe is that it makes so much because I have these two molds and they make both make quite a bit, but it's not going to be enough. I think I'm going to have to make some pumpkin ones too. <laughs> when I made my first trial batch of these, just a half batch, Tommy really liked them as well. Especially when you're hot coming in from outside, get a quick hit of electrolytes. It's a quick grab.
some left, so I'm going to put out some silicone cupcake molds so that none goes to waste. There we go. Now I'll put these in the refrigerator for two hours um, to let them set. And then the longer that they set, the firmer that they get. So it's up to you on how long you want to let them set. I keep them in the refrigerator because I like them cold. Um, I like that texture. Um, after they set though, I typically take them out and put them into like a Ziploc bag still in their molds um, until I'm going to take them with me somewhere and then I'll put them in a little baggie. I'm going to put these in the fridge and then I'm going to clean up my mess and then let's get to making lunch. All right, now for lunch. My favorite lunch growing up, even in high school, I think even junior high school, my mom will tell me, I can't remember for sure, was to take ham, to slice lunch meat ham, put it on a plate, put a slice of provolone, not smoked, I don't like smoked provolone on my ham, put it in the microwave, and get it until it just melts, and then roll it up and eat it. So guess what my lunch is today? Ham and provolone melted in the microwave. I don't think I'll ever get tired of this meal. My ham quality is probably better than it was then because there's no artificial flavors, no sugar, no nitrates, no this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. But it's still a favorite of mine. It brings back lots of fun memories from high school and things like that and after school snacks and fun stuff. So. That's what I'm having for lunch. So let's heat it up. It really is a simple lunch. It makes the string, the cheese stringy and fun. Um, but I'm gonna go eat my lunch, get back busy to work because I don't have much time left because that electrolyte gummy process took a lot longer than I was planning. But I will be back for cooking dinner and having dinner. Um, I am sharing one of my other favorite recipes from growing up that's been adapted for carnivore, um, and that's my mom's cheese chicken recipe. I'm excited to share that with you, so see you soon. All right, so I know that we talked about making cheese chicken last night for dinner, and I really wanted to make it for dinner, but family comes first and I had forgotten that we were going to do um, an important sign up for Kaylin last night and so that took precedence and then we got to talking <laughs> and we're meeting up with friends and things like that so we ended up not cooking last night for dinner I will insert a picture of what I had we went to Bob Evans I had a bacon cheeseburger I added an egg and a um, slice of ham on top of that um, probably not the best probably not the cleanest carnivore option but at Bob Evans you really don't have many options um, as with most restaurants but I made do with what I could find and it was still really good I came in at a total of 1600 calories for the day um, I met my both my fat and protein macros um, I will um, pop in those numbers here as well um, but I wanted to show you the finished product of our gummies um, since we talked about those but you just kind of bend and they pop right out but that's what they look like they're really good um, they can be a little salty if you aren't used to the electrolytes um, so just kind of a warning depending on what you like um, and they are more like a firm jello than a true like chewy gummy if that's what you're after um, but again I love them I like having the cold little quick treat um, and getting my electrolytes along with some gelatin which has great collagen in it so but that's all I have for you today I hope you come back on Tuesday because I will be making my cheese chicken recipe um, and sharing that with you as a whole video just by itself 
Um, it's really easy to make. It's really easy to have for a variety of different dietary styles. Um, from everything from just your regular diet to carnivore. So um, I'll kind of show you how I do it and tell you some tweaks you can make for different uh, dietary styles. And I will also offer an update on my weight and how everything's going. Um, but until then, bye for now.